league. You never know if you're going to be solidified in one spot for a good amount of time or you're going to be off to the next. You know, at the end of the day, I took it as just another door to open for me. It was another opportunity for me to just, you know, better myself and better just like my career at the end of the day. So, you know, I just I take it like that. I stay patient with everything and I just am grateful for every, you know, situational position that I'm always in, no matter if it's, you know, with a non playoff team or a playoff team. You know, I keep my head high, I try to stay motivated and I just have as many people pushing me to be the best I can be, you know. So I just come out and I just play hard. What's going through your head when you kind of see Luca come out right off the bat and have like 12 points in two minutes? <laughs> yeah, I, I knew it was going to be a long night for whoever was in front of him, you know, at the end of the day. I just, you know, set a screen, got him downhill. I thought I set a good enough screen, you know, then I turn around, he's shooting from half court and making it. So I was just like, you know, <laughs> at this point, I don't even need to set a screen for you, brother. <laughs> you know, so I mean, he had it going early and we just had to, I would say, just piggyback off of the energy he started with. You know, he set the tone and we just had to really just kind of like follow suit. What's this like for you, uh, Gav, your, your journey, you know, all the way back to your rookie season and, and now you're going to the NBA Finals for the first time? All I got to say is I'm blessed. You know, I've been in situations where I felt like I was way less of a player than what I showed tonight. And just kind of being in this situation, it shows me that whenever you put your head down and work, you know, you, got, you put love into the game and it gives love back. You know, so I just I cherish every moment you know, I come out and I try to be the best that I can be. I try to be better than the day before always, you know, and just put the next foot forward and just try to stay motivated and stay encouraged and just do as much as I possibly can. Just help the team win. Yeah, Luca set the tone there with 20 points in the, you know, mm -hmm. in the first quarter. What did you see from Kyrie out there tonight? Yeah, I seen he was poised. He did, you know, what Kyrie does at the end of the day. He made sure he got to his spots. He got downhill. And the energy that he had today, too, it was just, you know, him and Luca. they were the double-headed snake. We just had to, you know, be the tail at the end of the day and just follow in behind those guys. They led us. They stayed motivated. They stayed positive. You know, it was a lot of frustration in the last game, I would say. We came out with just like a whole different mindset, just coming out, staying positive, you know, not necessarily, you know, being satisfied with what was going on with the game. We wanted to stay greedy the whole game, and that's what we did. You played against Boston probably a little more than these guys mm -hmm. being with Paul Washington. What's mm -hmm. your early thought on going against them? But no, honestly, this will be my third time this year playing against them. The first time I got a chance to play against them, I was hurt in Washington. I messed up my ankle. And then I, think I got traded like right before Washington went to Boston. And I think the only time that I actually got a chance to play, play against them this year was um, when I first got here. So, you know, it's going to be a good experience. It's really going to test just like my defensive ability and just, you know, what I can do and just have an energy on the floor. Like I said, I do whatever it takes to just pretty much just help the team win. And just coming out with energy and making sure, you know, I set the tone physically, emotionally, whatever it takes, you know, just to help the team win. That's what exactly I'm going to do. What's the locker room right now? What do you think the, the flight home is going to be? I know you guys are going to lock in and all that yeah. stuff, you know, at some point. But, yeah. like, for, for this brief time that you let yourself celebrate, what, what's it like right now? What's it going to be like? We're embracing the success that we had tonight. You know, it's not every day you get to be in the Western Conference Finals and winning it, especially on the road. You know, it was a great atmosphere here. We played against a great team. They got one against us, and we just had to come out with just like, you know, that mindset is like, we're not going to let them get another one at the end of the day. So we came out and we handled business, and we're enjoying just, you know, how much work we put into it. So I would say we enjoy this till midnight, we get back ready to take that next step, make that push for that last thing. What's your response to what you guys got from Blavi tonight, and what was your first reaction when he was on the floor again? I mean, my first reaction to him on the floor, he's a tough cookie. You know, it takes a lot to keep him down. I knew that we were all for sure worried, just like, you know, he was down, he got hit in his neck again. Thought he was for sure banged up pretty much. He was going to go back to the locker room, but he pushed through it. You know, and that shows resilience, especially from a young guy. You know, and just with what he did tonight, he came out and he did what he always does, have energy, you know, anything around the rim, he puts it in the rim, he blocks shots. Just being out there and just, you know, being a monster. You know, we tell each other that every time. Whenever I come out, he tells me that. Well, whenever I come out, I tell him that, and he tells me the same thing when I start off, you know. So it's just we just, you know, always have to keep him motivated and keep him lifted from just like all the stuff that he's been through. You know, he's been through a lot. And just being there for him is just something that it shows just like, you know, the, the togetherness from this team. And we just have to make sure night in, night out we do that. You know, coming to Dallas um, and watching Luka and Kyrie together, why do you think they've gelled so well together? In all honesty, you know, it's just 
I would say it's the patience when it comes to just, you know, being around each other. At the end of the day, you know, it was, <laughs> when I was first seeing just like the trade with Kyrie got here, you know, they said, oh, him and Luka's not going to work. Well, they're working pretty good together right now, if I, if I do say so myself. So <laughs> whoever said that, they obviously need to go get their eyes checked. So, <laughs> but in all honesty, you know, just watching it, I mean, it's just greatness. You know, one player has been in this situation before. Another one is trying to, you know, for sure be in this situation consistently. And Kyrie, he leads the team positive vibes 24-7 from him, no matter what goes on throughout the game. And, you know, I think Luka is learning to just kind of like, you know, take that next step and to try to be able to do the same thing. So it's just great to just see how, you know, guys progress and just like manifest. It's like the positive mindset when it comes to just, you know, within the team.